Every year, DV chooses one of its exceptional staff members to lead the school's homecoming. This year's 2015-2016 Grand Marshal was Ms. Dickerson. She is the AP Biology and Astronomy teacher here at Del Valle. It was an honor for her to represent Del Valle as a Grand Marshal. I was so honored to be the Grand Marshal. Um, it's just such a, such a feeling to represent the school with such a significant event of school spirit. It's kind of cool to, to be selected and find out all that wonderful, wonderful news about the Grand Marshal, yes. She has done an amazing job of presenting the Big Bad Blue community. I thank you again, and there's only one more thing to say. Go Big Bad Blue! According for Conquest Journal, Melissa Sacedo. <laughs>They've always had a home here with the big bad blue. To come back to my high school and to have an opportunity to teach uh, great students. I felt very at home here. It's a good school to be part of and all the students are good. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Oscar Pedregon. <laughs> Every year during homecoming, the Valle nominates an alumni to be represented as the honored ex. This year's honored ex was Mr. Eddie Gutierrez, who graduated class of 96. Mr. Gutierrez participated in many high school organizations such as SNHS, Stuco, NHS, Tech Theater, the Mock Trial, the Physics Club, Swimming, and also served as the Speech and Debate President. Um, I was sitting in those, perhaps in the pep rally in the back, um, thinking what I was going to do uh, 20, 21 years ago. Mr. Gutierrez is now the Vice President of External Public Affairs at the El Paso Electric Company. Mr. Gutierrez is very grateful for the impact Del Valle has had on his life. You know, I owe it to the teachers at, at Del Valle. Um, you know, I had a, an amazing debate teacher. I had, had a math teacher that was always by my side. Uh, Mr. Sanchez here in the English department uh, was a great mentor. Mr. Gutierrez had some words of wisdom to give, not only to the Del Valle students, but to the Del Valle community. One is the ability for you to be who you are, uh, to ask questions, to think, uh, to be different, um, and at the end of the day, to love who you love and do, and do what you think is best. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Aaron Diaz. Thank you. Can't wait. Oh. No. Only a cappuccino can come between your love. Stop by at room C205 to pick up your true love.
last Thursday was the annual homecoming parade, which serves to gather the community as one and celebrate our homecoming. Schools and clubs from around the district showed off their spirit by building floats and handing out candy to the community. Overall, this year's parade was a great success, and the community got a chance to have some fun and participate in our homecoming. Reporting from Concord's Journal, Urban Sanchez. Last Friday, students came out to show the school spirit at the annual homecoming pep rally. It began with introducing the Lies alumni, Eric Gutierrez, along with announcing Teacher of the Year, Ms. Solis. <laughs> Lastly, honoring the Grand Marshal, Ms. Dickerson. Then followed by the shopping cart decorating contest. There are performances by Angela, the Conquerettes, the cheerleaders, and Fuego. The students got to participate in the class game with the seniors being victorious. After, the Bows and Sweethearts walked the field, each representing their organizations. At the end, the homecoming court was honored by the Sabre Guard. Reporting from Congress Journal, Iriana. As many clubs and organizations felt inspired to decorate in this year's theme, Around the World. This year's Dora and Card Contest was a great success. With all the amazing entries, the Dora Decoration Contest was once again won by the Aware Club, followed by the theme of superheroes around the world. With DECA coming in second place, followed by the Rio Carnival display, and MBA coming in third with their Wonders of the World. The cart contest was also won by the Aware Club, with Q coming in second. Congratulations to the winners and participants for their creative entries. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Yumaira Herrera. <laughs> Unfortunately, our varsity volleyball team did not do so well against Bel Air in a game that resulted in a score of 3 to 1. District races for cross country happened over the weekend. The girls team finished second while the boys ended in fifth. The Valles football team gave it their all as they beat Bel Air for our homecoming game with a tremendous score difference of 34 to 19. Oh. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Cesar Mercado. Through a week of fun events, homecoming was about to end, but it's not homecoming without a dance. This year's theme was around the world. Student activities did an incredible job at decorating the school. P. 
People started arriving at 8 p.m. Students had fun and showed their dancing skills on the dance floor. After three hours of dancing and fun, everyone got to see the homecoming court. The homecoming court presented us with the dance. Reporting from Conference Journal, Christian Pintor. Thank you.